we're really looking forward to seeing you and we're trying to find as many ways as we can to keep you safe. So here are some notices going up. There are going to be a few things that are different and in this video I'm going to give you a quick look around some of the places in school where those things have changed. You'll notice the footpath has got yellow and black tape every two metres all the way up. That's to help you stay a safe distance away from everybody else. There are also lots of signs to remind you to keep two metres apart and stay safe. And turn left onto the playground and then round the school, round the footpath and when you get to the other side we're going to ask mums or dads or whoever's dropped you off to do something that we've always said not to do and that is to make your way back across the car park through the barriers and there will be barriers going all the way across to make sure that people can get safely out of the school building. As much as we love to see people, what we don't want is for anybody to come in through the main entrance unless they have an appointment. So mums and dads, please stay away from now, for now and if you need to see somebody, please phone the school to make an appointment. But if mums and dads need to come in, there's a space on the floor for them to stand so that they are well back from the office hatch and you'll see lots of these signs, or signs like this, dotted around school. Just to remind everybody that they need to be two metres apart. And in the corner of the entrance hall, we've got a little isolation area so that if anybody is feeling ill and showing some of those coronavirus symptoms, then that's a safe space where they can be until they're collected. One of the first things you'll notice in school is that there is lots and lots of yellow and black tape. So this is the corridor by the library and here's the library with a big table across it because at the moment we're not using the library. We will be using it soon and you'll be told about how we use the books to keep everybody safe. But as you can see lots of tape on the floor and this corridor past my office and down to the hall has been divided up in half so that if you're going towards the hall you walk down on this side on the left following the arrows and staying about two meters apart which is about how far apart the arrows are and then when you come back you walk on the other side following the arrows and here's the corridor going down towards year three and lots of the corridors in school have been divided in two like this so that we're not bunching together and so that we can stay apart. Lots more lines and arrows moving down the corridor by 5B and 5C. Where the corridors are too narrow to have them in halves, you'll see that we've got lines on the floor to keep you apart as you move down. So you wait till the person in front has gone past the line and then it's your turn to go down. And then when the corridors widen out again, we're able to put different directions in so you can go past each other. Down to year four. Okay, lots of yellow and black tape to remind us. So it does feel different, not hugely different, a little bit different but it's all for the right reasons. So when you see the yellow and black tape, don't be frightened by it. Just remember that it's there to remind you to keep each other safe, to keep a distance from them. It's going to make sure that they are safe and that you are safe. 
about two metres. Even the desks have got tape on them. So the school desks, instead of having two people sitting at them, they'll have one person sitting at them. And there are two new books, a new whiteboard, a new whiteboard pen, new ruler, and a clean chair and table for each person to sit at. And in the space next to them where the tape is, there'll be space for each child to put their bag, their jacket if they need one, and all their personal belongings. So they've got lots of space around them and no need to be close to anybody else. As you can see, we've kept you all safely apart, able to work safely and securely. Every classroom, there is lots of equipment to keep your hands clean, to keep your tables clean, to keep all of the surfaces clean. There's lots of spray, lots of hand wash, tissues, bin liners, soap, water, plenty of towels. So every single classroom is properly equipped to keep you and your friends and your teachers as safe as possible. If you need to come to the office, they will see there's tape in there as well. And the office ladies will be very pleased to see you, but you need to keep away from them. And if you need first aid, this is where you come. But the office ladies will be wearing some protective equipment because they have to get closer to you to look after you if you need first aid or if you aren't feeling well.